For a deaf person like Ibi Paracha of Leesburg, Virginia, getting the drink you want at Starbucks can be a tall order. But Ibi says not here. Thanks to a barista who recently did something truly Hello. grande. And when I came in, the first thing she did was she wrote the note. So I thought maybe she had a question for me or something. But it really wasn't a question at all. And as I read through it, it shocked me. He immediately posted this picture of the note, which read, I've been learning ASL, American Sign Language, just so you can have the same experience as everyone else. What can I get for you today? That barista is Crystal Payne. Two Trenta iced coffee. She's new here. In fact, she'd only waited on Ibby once before deciding to go home, go on the internet, and learn sign language for him. Maybe I spent like three or more hours on it. Getting ready to take one order? Yeah. If he's a regular and I want to make that connection with my regulars, I should be able to at least ask him what he wants to drink. What you want drink. Today, Crystal knows everything she needs to wait on Ibby. Caramel frappuccino, please. And that really is the extent of their interaction. To Crystal, it's no big deal. But to Ibby, who says navigating a hearing world is often frustrating, what Crystal did was a wonderful gesture that he will never forget. He even saved the note. It was something that was very inspirational, so I wanted to, to keep it in the frame. Sometimes, customer service gets a bad rap, and it's often well-deserved. Hi, what can I get for you today? But there are those frontline workers who go above and beyond, not for a tip or because the boss is watching, but because kindness is who they are, and the customer, all they care about. And it's just something that really gave me genuine happiness. Even now? Yeah, even now, still smiling. <laughs>